in December. Uh, time is 12:24 a.m. Uh, the match is about to start, and the motivation for solving this leak code problem is the first one is uh, we haven't solved it in the past. It's a fresh question. So after a very long time, I got a fresh question. I thought, let's do it. The second motivation is actually the main motivation. I met Rajat today. Rajat is one of the subscriber of Coding Decoded. He has been following Coding Decoded channel from quite some time now, and he just joined Adobe today. So in the morning, he messaged me personally on the Telegram group, stating that he has joined Adobe and would like to meet me in office. I clicked a photograph with him. I'll be sharing the entire details of the incident on LinkedIn very soon. So stay tuned. And I was super excited to see that even in this time of layoff, this recession time where everyone is struggling with their jobs, uh, coding decoded could, could contribute to others' life, and I'm super pleased about it. Now let's get back to the question. Given an array of size n cross n, where in uh, all the numbers are of type integers, what do you need to do? You need to return the minimum sum of any falling path to the matrix. So the path starts from the top row, goes up till the bottom row, and at each cell there are three options to take. Either you can go in the immediate lower direction, immediate left direction, immediate right direction. So out of the three possibilities, you want to select the one that gives you the least cost. So I'll be talking more about the solution by the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. Problem. Here in this question, you're given a matrix size n cross n, and what you need to do, you need to move from the topmost row to the bottommost row, which is this one. And while moving from the topmost row to the bottommost row, you need to keep in mind that you have to always select the minimum path, minimum weighted path. So you are given weight for each cell, and as per the question. While moving on to the next cell, for example, if you are over here, if you want to move over here, then there are three paths possible. You can come from this route, you can come from this route, and you can come from this route. Which one are you gonna select? You will select the one that gives you least weight. So for reaching this particular node, the cost would be one plus five, which is six. So let's write six over here. The cost for reaching this particular node would be equal to a minimum of two and one. So because one route is this, other route is this. So two, minimum of two and one gives you one. One plus six gives you seven. So let's write seven over here. The cost for reaching this particular cell would be minimum of one and three, which is one plus four, which gives you five. So let's write five over here. And let's repeat the same thing for these three cells as well. So here, let's write seven over here. Let's write eight over here. Let's write nine over here. These are not the actual minimum paths. These are the current Values for these particular nodes. So the actual minimum paths would be equal to minimum of seven comma six, which is six six plus seven gives you thirteen. So the answer here would be thirteen. For reaching this particular cell, three paths are possible: one, two, and three. The minimum of these three three values five six and five six and seven would be five. Five plus eight gives you thirteen. So the answer here would be thirteen. Let's proceed ahead. The next cell that we have happens to be this one. So uh, there are two paths possible. One is this one. Other one is this one. The minimum of five and six is five. Five plus nine gives you fourteen. So the answer here would become fourteen. Now you have successfully reached the last row, and the final answer would be equal to the minimum of the value that is set in this entire row because you can reach any cell in the last row. So the minimum value that exists in this last row happens to be 13. So the answer becomes 13. This is in sync with our expectation. This is what we are going to do in the coding section as well. The time complexity of this approach is order of n square. The space complexity of this approach. If you are creating a new array, new DP array, then the space complexity would be order of n square. If you are updating the original array, which is not a good practice, then the space complexity would be order of one. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the coding section. And get a good hold of the entire algo. Here in the solution, uh, I have used and updated the same matrix, which is not a good practice. Ideally, I would have created a different DPRF for this. Uh, however, one of the subscribers submitted the solution, the same solution in Java. So I thought you guys would be able to correlate to it the most. So here, basically, we, he has created a helper method. Uh, wherein he is identifying the minimum path possible out of the three paths and he does that uh, depending upon the conditions of the column index if we are at the first 
column if we are at the last column then these conditions should be checked and then we return the minimum one out of the three possibilities uh, and he, basically we are doing it for each cell therefore uh, we have written two loops over here uh, our index starts from i equals to one why because we are doing it from the first row till the last one and this is pretty simple and straightforward once we have identified this up what do we do we basically identify the minimum value in the last row so whatever the minimum value exists in the last row that becomes our answer and this algorithm corresponds to that so let's try and submit this up accepted awesome this is approximately uh, 95% faster which beats uh, a lot of uh, good developers in terms of time complexity and this seems like a good solution with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you thoroughly enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye